Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's do an in-depth reading regarding your person. Let's see what's going on with your person. Uh, let's start with your person's current energy. What is your person's current energy? We have Eight of Cups. Knight of Sword. Six of Coins. All right, so definitely there's movement here. We're moving forward here. Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Uh, your person's quite determined here. Determined to uh, balance things out here. Determined to make things right, so to speak. Uh, I feel like they're rejecting some things that make them feel maybe out of balance. Uh, they want to offer you, they want to make you an offer here with this uh, Six of Coin energy. Six of Coin is definitely uh, a reciprocity, give and take. Because uh, I feel like maybe in the past, your person maybe didn't quite give uh, as much as they now feel that they should have. Uh, I feel like they really thought a lot about uh, this connection and I feel like maybe they resisted this connection for quite a while but now they're realizing like there's something healing uh, about your energy there's something that's uplifting about your energy uh, and I feel like they're ready to you know take an action move in your direction here it, there's an offer being um there's an offer that's going to be made. Uh, right now they're contemplating this offer. They definitely want to heal this relationship, this connection. They want to make you an offer of love. They want to give you just as much love as you have given them in the past. Uh, all right, let's ask, let's ask about the current energy of their environment. What is going on in their environment? Ace of Cup, Two of Pentacle, King of Cups. All right, so they got love on their mind. They definitely want to make you this offer. They're thinking about how to bring harmony into this situation because I feel like, you know, they're, they're, current situation right now they're feeling a little bit off kilter out of balance uh, and they want to make it right here they want to make you an offer here ace of cups king of cups a lot of emotion they've got a lot of emotion um going on right now they're, they're really thinking about how to move forward how to make you this offer uh let's all right let's ask about thoughts What's your person currently thinking? Thought process here. Temperance. Yeah, the temperance is all about balance, harmony, healing. Uh, they definitely want to bring some sort of, um, yeah, temperance, balance. They're, they're, they're seeking balance here. They're seeking clarity. Uh, they're doing a lot of contemplation right now with this king of sword energy. Ten of coins. Yeah, they're, they're getting their... Um, finances in order uh, maybe things maybe it's interesting let's see if we can get this to focus better uh, because I'm feeling like yeah they're getting they're they're getting things in focus uh, is what I'm getting here this temperance it's interesting how you know sometimes things that happen in card readings it's part of the reading um, you know and things are a little bit out of focus now they're they're gaining clarity they're focusing on harmony, balance, getting, um, you know, putting their ducks in order is what I'm getting. Um, look, I just looked at the bottom of this deck. We've got the Knight of Swords again. So they're definitely preparing to uh, take an action. Uh, their thoughts are definitely about bringing harmony, bringing healing, bringing clarity. Uh, they're thinking about, yeah, like how are we going to uh, support ourselves uh, moving forward, because uh, your person does have a lot of, um, you know, they've, they've got some, you know, we all have certain financial obligations here, and they're trying to uh, balance everything out, so, you know, for the, the highest good of all is what I'm hearing. 
All right, let's look into heart space. How are they feeling right now? Five of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Hierophant. Okay, so uh, maybe, you know, they could possibly be in a third party situation. Uh, and they know that they need to sort that situation out also. We do have the Six of Pentacles here twice. There's something about, you know, making everyone happy here. Uh, your person is definitely making a lot of changes. Um, their heart is really, gosh, their heart is really feeling you. Um, but they need to make sure that, you know, all of their obligations are settled uh, so the two of you can move forward uh, without any, you know, strings attached to any outside um, people, places, situations uh, is what I'm getting here. Let's pull, let's take one of these cards and clarify or pull, let's see. Um, all right, we got two Six of Pentacles. So let's pull, okay, let's take one of these to clarify that Six of Coin. Magician, yeah, it's like they're making things happen here. I really feel like they're trying to bring harmony to themselves, their current situation, uh, and their future uh, is what I'm getting here. Uh, let's pull, let's see, all right, Six of Coin twice. Let's pull one over here for this Six of Coin. Queen of Cups. Yeah, look at this. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Like, they want to be with you. Like, you, you're you the one for them. And they they realize this now. Uh, they might have, you know, had a um, karmic relationship. It doesn't matter um, whether it was short term, long term. Uh, they're seeking change now, uh, is what I'm getting. Let's ask the cards, what is your person currently desiring? What are their deepest desires here? Okay, we've got strength, Queen of Cups. Yeah, they're desiring you. We got the Queen of Cup here twice. And Four of Wands. Yeah, they want that connection with you. They want that deep, um, soulful connection that they have with you. They've learned a lot of lessons um, in their karmic relationships, in their past relationships. Uh, they've come a long way. Uh, is what I'm getting here. Let's pull let's pull two for the Queen of Cups. We have it here twice. Tower energy. Yeah, they're making great strides. They're making great changes. Ace of Wands are definitely looking forward. They want that uh, new beginning with you. Uh, I meant to pull one of these cards. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, very focused. Like very focused on, all right, I know I need to put in some work here. I know I'm capable. Uh, wow, look at the bottom of this deck. I just noticed the four of wands again. So there's definitely, let's put that four of wands there. So they know that, you know, they need to make a lot of uh, changes right now in order to have that soulful relationship. Big changes are happening in your person's world here. Uh, bottom of the stick, I can't help but notice this King of Pentacles energy. So they're definitely like um, wanting to get their finances in order uh, so they can totally clear out the past uh, and move towards this new beginning with you, this um, merging of energies here. All right, so let's ask... Let's ask, okay, what are they offering you right now? What are they, what are they, what are they offering? Nine of Wands, Two of Sword, King of Swords. Yeah, they're making like decisions. They're making uh, big decisions right now. They're trying to, you know, break through to the other side. You know, this Nine of Wands, did I say nine? I, I don't know what I said, but that's a Nine of Wand over there. Um, nine of wands, you know, this is, there's a gate here. There's an opening here. There's a gateway here. Uh, and your person wants to make amends with, you know, their, their karmic past, their past relationships, uh, and clear the way for a fresh new beginning. Uh, I believe we have the king of swords here twice. You know, king of swords, very much clarity. Yeah. Five of wands. I think we saw that there also. 
like they really want to uh, make decisions that uh, work for them. Uh, is what I'm getting here. Like they're, they're definitely making changes for the future, three of wands. Uh, but they want it to be for the highest good of all. Uh, is what I'm getting. So they're doing the right thing. They're they're closing out old cycles, lived and learned, a uh, lot lot um, that they're going through right now. Uh, but they're doing the work, uh, and I feel like it's your energy that has helped them to see the way forward on some level. Whether it's subconscious, whether it's um, you know a conversation you had or a dream that. Um, you both experience one or both of you or just the universe saying, okay, look in this direction. It's time. Uh, okay, let's ask about, uh, what was that? Actions? Did we ask actions? I don't remember where we went, where we were. Um, I, was that offer action? I don't know. Let's ask about, um, where should we go here? Thoughts? We, um, what do we do? We did thoughts, current energy, energy of the environments, thoughts, feelings, what they're desiring, what they're offering you. Uh, I don't know. Actions? Let's do actions. I don't know if I did actions. Eight of Cups. Yeah, they're going in your direction. That was the first um, card we had was the Eight of Cups. We've got the Judgment card. Ooh, and the Moon. There's big energy here. Uh, they're definitely moving towards, you know, that, that spiritual enlightenment, uh, that mysterious energy, that intuitive energy. Again, I feel like the universe stepped in uh, to guide your person uh, at this point in time. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. I think we had that here twice. Hermit. Yeah, they're getting like soul downloads, soulful like soulful information uh, is what I'm getting. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they they kind of needed to, you know, uh, go within, go within their mind, go within their headspace, go within their their body, their soul, like the the whole nine yards. They needed to go deep in order to uh, figure out where their soul was leading them. You know, maybe they were stuck in some sort of like ego based situation and now it's like all right now I'm gonna get out of my head and I'm gonna follow my heart and soul uh, which leads them to you uh, is what I'm getting here uh, all right let's ask what the universe is is desiring what does the universe want us to know about this connection three of cups star Five of Cups. Yeah, there's something there's something big happening here. I think if this is your reading and there has been a third party situation involved in your connection with your person, the universe is guiding your person to make a shift, grieve the past, um, and move forward. Uh, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, it's a big turning point. Five of Cups for me is a turning point. You know, we did see quite a few fives. Uh, they're... they're they're, they're grieving the past and they're ready to uh, make a change, you know, and, and focus on the two cups that are standing. Uh, and maybe, you know, we got three of cup energy. Three of cups can be a celebratory car. Like they're, they're, they're making progress. So it's, it's time to celebrate, celebrate self celebrate everywhere we've been, celebrate where we are now, and celebrate where we're meant to go right now. Uh, and this, I feel like there's going to be a rejuvenation here with that five of cup energy. Bottom of this deck, we've got queen of coin. I feel like they definitely want to uh, merge their energies with you, merge their finances with you. I feel like they're, um, they're, they're settling their debts right now they're settling their obligations uh, so they can connect with you and build a new future uh, bottom of this deck we've got the page of cups so i feel like they they will eventually be able to uh, discuss this with you i feel like right now they're just dealing with they're dealing with a lot right now uh, bottom of this deck we got the knight of swords so it's like they're definitely um, going to head in your direction, 
take some action. But right now with Seven of Wands here, they're dealing with, you know, they got a lot that they're dealing with right now. So just uh, these cards of spirit and the universe is saying just um, give them a little bit of space right now. Uh, allow them to deal with their issues. Uh, and then you can discuss the future is what I'm getting here. All right, let us close with an Earth Warrior Oracle message. What closing words of wisdom do the um, Earth Warrior Oracle message have to say? Uh, looks like we have two. All right, we can read two. We have number 16, Lolo, Stand in the Light. And we have number 40, Hayaka, Sorceress of Light. So a lot of light here. Light shining down. Uh, ooh, look at bottom of this deck. Look at this. This is interesting. Okay, so we have a lot of light here. We've got Stand in the Light, Sorceress of Light. And look, I looked at the bottom of this deck, and it's Honor the Light. Uh, so look, and we got these sevens here. I think we saw a couple sevens there. Sevens for me are very divine numbers. Um, you know, seven, 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 lucky numbers. Uh, gosh, four is very angelic, like angelic wisdom here. We got transformation. We got moon energy here. This owl is very full of wisdom. Wow. All right. I'm going to read, I'll read all three of the, um, I'll read all three of this, seeing that it's a lot of light here happening. Stand in the light. You are unique. You are divine and beautiful being. You stand apart from the crowd. Sometimes this evokes jealousy or desire in others who want to possess your light and beauty as their own. You need never fear another or believe that they can harm you. Allow yourself to be true to who you are. Don't try to hide your inner light and beauty. You are meant to be seen. Your soul is nurtured and protected by your love for great spirit. Sorceress of Light. No enemy shall defeat you, not by night nor by day, not upon the earth nor in the soul. You are divinely protected and empowered. You shall fulfill your destiny with joy in your heart and laughter in your belly. Play. Be in nature. Feel the freedom of happiness within you, even in this moment. These are your sacred powers, and with them you shall take every step upon your journey successfully, and nothing shall thwart your divine destiny. I feel like your person is realizing that. I feel like they're stepping out of like their ego base, like, um, you know, society's rules, ego based. Uh, and they're stepping into their, their spiritual power where there's, there's, you know, you're protected by the light. You're both protected by the light, you, your person and your connection. All right. And finally, we have honor the light. You are a light bearer. Your sole purpose is to redress the presence of darkness on this planet through shining the light. You are meant to do this in the ways that feel most uplifting to you. What brings brightness to your spirit? Do those things. How can you create a loving legacy to remind others of the light? Exploring and expressing the light in ways that remind others to seek the light too is a, is a way to fulfill your divine destiny. Your light is powerful. Use it. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you you have lit up your person's world. They see your light and they want to, you know, connect their light with your light to make an even brighter uh, future for the both of you. Thanks for watching. Peace be with you as always. Much love. Bye now.